I'm at a millionaire's house. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up with Coco. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin, and you know how to spell Coco. Okay. Um, I need to get these braids out of my hair. Okay, like. It's time, but I'm dreading taking it off because you guys know that I did it myself and honestly, I feel like it's easier to put the braids on than it is to take it off. Um, so I'm just like, Ugh, I don't know what I want to do um, or what I'll do because, you know, like if you see the front, obviously you can see that like, you know, it's old. Um, but what I could probably do is like, you know, take out a few in the front and just rebraid it so that it looks a little like you know better because i mean i've only had it i think i've only had it for like a good month now um and usually like you can leave these braids in for at least two months um you know like it's a natural protective style um if you don't want to like deal with your hair or deal with wigs you guys know that um you know all my black women you guys know what i'm talking about so i don't know like i don't know if i want to take it off i don't know if i want to keep it on yes anyway so today um it is the official day that i am getting my permanent veneer for my cheap tooth um if you guys don't know i've had in a temporary veneer for pretty much three weeks now um so i haven't been able to like eat normally like bite into chicken anything like that so today i go and i get the permanent veneers and um once i do that then i can go ahead and eat regularly all of that stuff so i'm super excited for that um so <laughs> so for my outfit today i'm wearing this shirt i don't remember where i got it from but i've had it for a very long time um i have on um, blue jeans i got these jeans from sucks fifth avenue um i think i showed you guys in the haul the day that i did go shopping and i bought this i think i showed you guys these jeans but i love me a um like very dark blue jeans um i hate the jeans that are all faded and all of that stuff like i don't know but to me like faded jeans you wear it once you have to throw it in a wash like you can't wear it twice but i feel like you should not wash your jeans every time you wear it i don't know i feel like jeans are like unless you're like rolling on the ground sitting on the floor like i just don't see why you would have to wash your jeans after just wearing it one time so i feel like with the darker blue jeans um it's definitely easier to wear these a couple of times before you throw them in a wash um so i really really love these they're super like cute um for my perfume today i have on the chanel number no. five that is what we have on um and then obviously i have my everyday classic chanel um so yeah we're gonna grab our car keys um feed chanel because it is lunchtime for her so i'm gonna put some food in her thing i've been getting her this um new food so I don't do the um, Caesars anymore, I do these. Um, so this is what we're going to give our little chanel -y before we leave. Um, I honestly need to wash her bowl. Um, and then I'm gonna take this mango with me to eat like in the car while I'm driving or something, but let's go ahead and run some errands. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys, I think I showed you guys this flower. If I did or if I didn't, here it is. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful um, arrangement. But actually now that I'm thinking about it, I think I did post it on my last vlog. Go check that vlog out. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and go run some errands. So I am back 
Oh, let me show you guys my teeth. So now I have in the permanent veneer. So, yeah. Okay. Period. Um, my battery is dying. So, um, all right. So I just changed my battery. So after the dentist, I ended up going to Zara. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. Let me take out some of the stuff that I have in here. I ended up throwing like my mask um, and shit. So I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things from Zara. And it came out to $3.31. <laughs> I told you guys that I wasn't spending any more money, right? Well, ah, unfortunately, because it's been one of those weeks, I decided to treat myself to some things. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'll show you guys a couple of them. I'm not gonna show you guys like the pants that I got because I really don't feel like um, taking off my clothes and trying it all on, but I'll show you guys a couple of things. So I got this really cute blazer. It's pink. I thought this was a really, cute okay like you know what i mean i could dress it up i could dress it down um i don't know but i really like it so this was like 69 bucks i believe um look at it very cute the color is super cute i mean even with the shirt that i have on inside right now it would work like bam with some heels period um, so I got myself this. I love it. It feels amazing. Um, so yeah. So we got this. And then I got another blazer. Um, now this one like reminded me of like Chanel, um, clothing. Like when you go to the Chanel store and you buy like the ready to wear pieces. I felt like this gave me almost that vibe. This was $89. Um, so I'll show you guys. Let me put it up. Ooh. So I got this blazer. I really love this. Like, look at the details on it. Like, tell me this doesn't look like a Chanel piece, okay? And like, when I looked at it and I... Um, tried it on in Zara. I was like, oh, you know what? I can get like a CC um, pendant and put it right here. Boom. It's given class. It's given sexy. It's given grown. It's given everything it's supposed to give. Okay. So I ended up getting this. I'm like loving it. And obviously, I'm going to show you guys again with my Chanel purse just to give you an idea like this is a look okay this is a look with some heels jeans maybe a dress pants like even a skirt like if you wanted to you could do that too so yeah now you guys know that i have this dress in practically four colors already um i have it in black i have it in almost like a lighter green than this i think or blue I know I have like at least three of these dresses already um, in the house. So I saw this green one and I was like, you know what? This is like literally you can never go wrong with like silk dresses. Oh, even though this is not real silk. Um, but it does almost feel like it's real silk when it's on the body. It's just really classy, really elegant. I love dresses like this. Um, this is like the perfect dress to wear to go on a dinner date. Um, with a potential, you know, period. <laughs> um, and then I ended up getting this really cute skirt. Now I was thinking more, um, if I'm going to go out with my girlfriends to the club, um, like with a, you know, like a leotard inside. And then you throw this on with some heels, bang, yin. Okay. It looked so cute on. So I got that. This was, why don't I see a tag on it? 
That's weird. Let me see. Let's see what it says on the receipt. If the tag is gone. Uh, ooh! I know you lying. Oh. Okay, the skirt was $49. So this skirt was $50. Like, talk about expensive, right? <laughs> that was 50 bucks. And then I got these dress pants. Now, when I threw these on, when I say banging, like, it's giving sexy, it's giving classy, it's giving... Okay. It was really, really cute. So I got this. This was 35 bucks. And I was thinking, like, with a Skims um, one piece, like a leotard, and then you throw this on, then maybe throw a blazer if it's a little chilly outside. Like, that's a look for, um, you know, dinner, even like if you want to go to the club, you can wear this with a nice little shirt. I mean, literally, it was given. So I had to get it. And of course, I saw a different style. So that one has a zipper and then it closes. This one has a zipper and then it has a button as well. So I ended up getting this as well. This was also 35 bucks. Fits just the same as that. I mean, very sexy very classy um you know with a cute shirt on and a blazer banging um or like you know a leotard something but like these were given i had to get them um basically i was like shopping for bottoms um and then in my head i was just like i'm just gonna go on like um skims and get those um leotards that she always has on there like in black brown uh maybe a green one i don't know but i was thinking instead of like trying to find shirts at zara and i did look around but i didn't see anything that i thought would go really well with that um, and i did see a couple of um leotards but i didn't i one i think they only had smalls they didn't have extra small so i'm an extra small in everything always i'm always an extra small like I can never go wrong with getting an extra small. Um, so if I get a small, there's a chance that it could fit, but then there's also a chance that it will be really loose on me. So I always have to get an extra small. So I didn't see any extra smalls with um, the tops that they had that I thought would go well with these pants or the skirt. So I figured I'm just gonna go ahead and go on Skims, maybe go on Sheen, um, maybe, go, maybe go on Zaful or something like, and find really cute shirts to go with these. But that was pretty much my uh, day, you know. A friend of mine is supposed to be sending me a Saks Fifth gift card. So if I end up getting that gift card, we might go to Saks tomorrow. I want to get those Tom Ford, um, I think they're called like padlocks. Whatever. you. I'm sure you guys know the shoes that I'm talking about. Oh, I, I'll um, show you guys once I do get it. But I do want to get that shoe because i think they're so cute and i want like a gold one or like a nude one um just because i think it'll go well with like a lot of my outfits i'm usually either wearing like brown beige um white nude all of that stuff so i think like a gold or a nude one would be really cute um but yeah so that was pretty much our day. Nothing exciting. Um, now I gotta think about what I'm gonna eat because I absolutely, hold on, let me see what this man wants.
a dirty martini um to you know cool my nerves i have oh you know what i need to take this trash i'm sure <laughs> if you guys watch me all the time you already know how to make a dirty martini <sighs> okay you just need yourself some Tito's, some ice. Some olives of your choice. Um, and make sure the olives has like olive juice because you need it. Um, my shot glasses are all being washed right now. So I'm just going to eye it out. So you just put the Tito's in the ice. Then you take your uh, olive and olive water. Throw some olive water in that thing right there. Grab a spoon. Or in my case, a fork because all my spoons are being washed. Stare it. Pour yourself a glass of dirty martini. It's just perfect. Take um, a pick. I love olives. My mom used to eat olives when I was a kid. I think that's where I got them. <laughs> I think that's why I'm so into um, dirty martinis because then I get to eat olives as well. But I, my mom used to literally just like free ball eat olives as a kid. She would do the ones with um, that had the seeds. If you run out of olive water and you still have a bunch of olives because it's so salty, add some water in it, close it, shake it up, and literally just leave it in the fridge and I promise you <laughs> tomorrow it's just it's gonna be as salty as the actual olives because it's so much salt in olives so, if you do run out that's a way to make more um, olive juice but cheers just right. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, if you want, you can add some ice. I personally don't care for ice, but I'll add like one in there. And boom. Voila, that's how you make a dirty martini. Because you guys know. I love me some dirty martinis. Um, yeah so that is pretty much my day i'm gonna go get out of these jeans come relax i might watch something on tv you know fighting vibes you know i'm not your problem so okay let them say we got they okay Chanel, Good morning, guys. Um, so today is Friday, September 30th. Um, I'm actually on my way to take my car to go get service. Um, so I have to go to Mercedes Benz. I need an oil change. 
Um, I need my tires um, like evened out. There are a couple of them that is like losing some air. Um, so that's literally what I am on my way to go do right now. Um, I just have like running errands outfit. I decided to take my um, boy bag, the first Chanel bag that I ever got. It's been a while. I should not take, keep my keys in here, obviously. It's been a while um, since I got my, you know, classic. I've just been using that. So I'm like, you know what? Let me pull this baby out for a little bit today. Um, so I have on leggings, this shirt. Don't remember where I got it from. And my bag. And I'm just going to wear some sandals. Um, it's like 73 degrees outside. So we're starting to get into like that fall um, weather time. It's no longer summer in uh, Massachusetts. So some days it's a little chilly outside. And then some days, like I think it's at tomorrow, either Saturday or Sunday, it's supposed to be like 89 degrees or something like that. So yeah, we'll try to do something cute or something. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, but right now, I just need to go get my oil changed and um, get my tires filled up. Also, I need to honestly get the inside of my car washed, like detailed, because from the last time that I took it to get fixed, um, from the lady hitting my car, I don't know why they were going in and out of the car. I mean, obviously they were working on it, but like there was just so much handprint, so much dirt on my car. I haven't gotten the chance to clean it off yet. So I honestly need to do that. And then we'll see where the day takes us. Um, I threw on some deodorant and then um, I also um, put on the Miss Dior perfume that I have. Um, it's from Dior, obviously. Um, so that's what I have on. It smells so good. TMI but I'm like on my period so yesterday was like super lazy day for me today I have to try to film this video I don't know if I want to do the video for my teeth or do I want to do the other video that I've been kind of thinking about but I don't know anyways let's go to um, Mercedes-Benz and get my car serviced I'm leaving Chanel in the house um, so let me make sure there's nothing on the floor because she's uh make sure my closet door is closed yeah made it to mercedes benz i'm in a service thingy waiting for them to come oh maybe i just i think i think i just have to get out oh i need a mask i didn't bring one Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, you? Good, thank you. Um, do you mind just shutting off your car? Thank you. Are you going to be waiting or dropping off? Um, waiting. Hi, guys. So I left um, Mercedes Benz and I ran over here to Chick fil A. Got me a milkshake, a sandwich, and some fries. And then I'm going to head home. And I'm going to try to record this video today um i was procrastinate procrastinate ugh. i was procrastinating all yesterday because i wasn't feeling so well um so we're gonna go ahead and try to get some work done today before we start the weekend because today is friday and you know the weekend always brings a lot of fun and not a lot of work so we're gonna try to um, get some work done today so that, um, you know, we can have some fun this weekend and relax and not feel guilty. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive back home, eat my sandwich, drink my milkshake. I got an Oreo milkshake and it does not disappoint, okay? Mm. It's literally like drinking ice cream <laughs> if that makes sense so it's like it tastes like cookies and cream ice cream but it's a milkshake it's literally delicious um <clears throat> yeah so we're gonna just head back home now 
we pretty much did all the things that we wanted to do. Let the people go by. <sighs> Holy crap. <laughs> All right, we're running late. Hi guys, welcome back. So um, today is September 12th. There's a freaking car going off outside. So unfortunately, oh, okay, it stopped. So today is Sunday, September 12th. And um, I'm actually on my way to um, a little winery. So I'm going to do some wine tasting um, with TD. Uh, so yeah, so I wanted to show you guys my outfit. Here we go. I have on this dress. So I have on this dress that I got from Zara. I have on my Chanel. Um, I gotta look up what they're called, but they're not really like, they're not heels. I guess you can call these like sandals, um, but they're closed toed um, sandals. This is what they look like. Give you guys a close up. So this is what I'm wearing. They're from Chanel Focus. There we go. Um, so yeah, these are from Chanel. I think you guys remember the vlog um, that I got these when I, mean, I went shopping and I got these. So that is the outfit. For jewelry, I have on my Rolex, my Hermes bracelet, um, and then I have on this Tiffany necklace. I know I've had these braids in for a while. I keep saying I'm gonna take them out, but I don't know, it's just, it's kind of easy to just wear, you know, wear that. Um, and then for my bag, I'm going to take my Chanel um, wallet to match the shoes, period. And oh, you know what? It's a good thing that I guess I could mix my um, jewelry because this has silver and gold on it. I was thinking, oh, I couldn't do that, but it works, okay? Period, so this is the fit. Um, no earrings. I really suck at wearing earrings. I could wear my Chanel earrings right now, but I think this is good. For perfume, I'm gonna um, put on my Chanel number no. five. And um, yeah, Chanel from head to toe, period. <laughs> All right, let's go. We have Chanel number five. I'm missing my ring. It would have looked so cute. But we are almost at our um, date spot. Like I told you guys, we are going for a little bit of wine tasting. I'm super excited. Um, I've obviously done wine tasting before, but I did it actually the first time I ever did um, wine tasting. Oh, was it wine tasting or it was Bacardi tasting? Anyways, the first time I ever did any like wine tasting or like alcohol tasting was when I was in um, Puerto Rico like four years ago. 
Um, oh, okay, so yeah, it was Bacardi, but I think they did have some wine at first, though. So they started off, started us off with some wine, and then we ended up tasting like a couple of um, Bacardis. Because if you don't know, Puerto Rico is the um, what was it? What's it called? The um, the 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 main manufacturer for Bacardi is in Puerto Rico. Um, so if you ever do go to Puerto Rico, um, do the Bacardi tour. It's super cool. Um, they take you to the factory and all of that cool stuff. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go do some wine tasting um, and um, eat some charcuterie and um, you know be cute. I'm gonna take some pictures and stuff like that. So yeah. And then Sivan Walk is also just really refreshing and crisp. Mm -hmm. Sivan Walk is like a thing. Is that a, I've never heard it before. Yeah, that's a that's our naming system. Okay, so it's similar to a Sivan Walk. It's similar to a Sivan Walk. Yeah. Okay. Alright guys, so it is Wednesday, September 13th. Um, I'm taking out my braids. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Today we kind of have a little bit of stuff on the list that I have to do. So today is a vlogging day. Um, I haven't vlogged for a few days since I went to the winery on Sunday. And so today is Wednesday. Um, so I decided to pull out my camera because I'm taking out my braids then I have to go to the bank and once I take out my braids and get dressed and all of that stuff I'll explain to you guys um, why I'm going to the bank and what okay um, I sign up for my patreon because that's where I'm really giving the tea and I am going to go live um, I believe Tuesday September 20 second 21st i'll put the exact date i'll put the flyer that i made right here um but i kind of have like a new he's not new but you know I, <laughs> um anyways uh let me get back to my character um so taking out my hair going to the bank um and then after i want to go shopping i want those tom ford um padlock heels i believe that's what they're called I want a pair of those, so I want to see if they have them in sacks. Um, if they don't, I might get something else. I don't know. I'll look around. I have a couple of heels in mind that I want, um, and if they are available, I will grab one of them from Saks. I do have a Saks gift card from my Saks daddy, okay? Here he <laughs> um, What else? So, yeah. 
go shopping i need to also go to sephora i need my fenty product restock um and then i need to go to aritzia not that i need to go to aritzia but i want to go to aritzia um and then what else um and then tomorrow honestly tomorrow i need to film one or two videos i need to do my um whole you know dental experience with getting my permanent veneer because now i have my permanent veneer in and like no cap in my last video like at the end of the the last vlog the end of the vlog when i was on the boat um with a few friends um my veneer my temper <laughs> my temporary veneer which was what i had in for about three weeks literally fell out <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk about that once I do the whole like video on my experience with getting my veneer, but <laughs> I was like my veneer. Um, with getting my veneer, but um, yeah, so I wanna film either that video tomorrow and I keep talking about filming my bag collection um, video, but I really kinda don't want to, but at the same time I do. I don't know, you guys let me know if you guys want to see that video, cause like I do, not i don't even think i post like pictures and like emphasize the bag if that makes sense like i'm not one of those girls i just want a nice decent picture so i don't even think you guys know like every single bag that i have so if you guys want to see my bag collection let me know down in the description somebody said they also wanted to see my perfume collection so that's also something i could do but i'm gonna go ahead and take these braids out and um get our day started because um uh, it's actually jam-packed i need to be at my friend's place by 4 30 or 4 45 i believe is what he said um to go to this event tonight um so um yeah let's get this day started chanel you want to say hi chanel she this is her favorite one of her favorite spots she has two favorite spots when i'm sitting here she loves sitting here i mean she'll come out and sit on this chair sometimes if i'm like out and about in here um but for the most part, her favorite spot is like right on the bottom by the window. She loves looking outside. Okay. Ray Chanel, you gotta say hi to the Say hi to the girls. Mm -hmm. Chanel. Mm. So we are back to the basics, okay? I threw on this bob. You guys know this is my go-to like throw on wig when I just take out my hair. Basically, I took off the braids and um, I braided my hair down. So I had the braids in for like a month. I think it's been a month, maybe two months since I went to um, Miami. No, I think it's been about a month, maybe a month and a half. Um, so technically, you're supposed to keep those braids or you can keep those braids in for a good two months, three months. Um, and you guys know as black women, like we can't wash our hair every two weeks, every week, um, that kind of stuff. So I really, I took out the braids and like, yeah, my hair was dirty, but it wasn't, it wasn't really dirty like that. Um, so I decided to just put some cornrows and throw this wig on because as I told you guys, I had a bunch of stuff on my to-do list that I wanted to do today. Um, taking out the braids was one of them. So we did that. I need to go to the bank um, and then we need to go into Aritzia 
and um, we need to go into Saks because I want these um, Valentino. Okay, so I want the um, Tom Ford padlock heels, but if they don't have those, I want a pair of a Valentino heels as well. So we're going to see what they have at Saks, what I can get today. Um, I have this outfit that I have kind of planned for um, my event that I'm going to with one of my um, new daddies. He's new, but he's not really new because I've known him for like a year now. Um, and at first he wasn't really getting the vision, but now he gets it, you know? Um, <laughs> So I have to go deposit my allowance that he gave me um, a couple days ago. Okay, so in the beginning of this vlog, I was telling you guys how I lost my camera. Um, ended up finding the camera. So, so I ended up posting that vlog with tea time and everything. So if you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out. Um, but basically, the guy that I was on his boat ended up becoming... You know after that whole fiasco or whatever um with me losing my camera and stuff um we ended up like you know talking and long story short i have to go deposit this money in the bank okay <laughs> okay um so we'll see how you know the relationship how it goes down and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm supposed to go to um, Cartier on Friday because you guys remember in the beginning of the vlog, I told you I lost my ring. I actually did not find it. So we're gonna get it replaced or honestly, I want a bracelet. <laughs> um, that's really what I want. So when we go on Friday, obviously, of course, I'm going to vlog. Um, probably not vlog inside of um, Cartier but um i'm pretty sure i can do like before and then like you know you guys follow me on instagram birkin coco you know how to spell birkin you know how to spell coco um to really see behind the scenes because i will take pictures and videos on my actual phone but i'm pretty sure i can't walk into um cartier with this camera so yeah so let's go to the bank go shopping um it's not gonna be like a lot of shopping I kind of just want to go through a retail, see what I can find. I kind of already know what I want from Saks. That's really how I like to go shopping. I don't like to do eye shopping. I like when I have like an idea of what I'm looking for specifically. So yeah, we're going to do that. Come back, change, get cute, and um, go to this event with, uh, I'm going to call him G-Wagon Daddy. Period. I'm gonna call him G-Wagon Zaddy, okay? Because I can't give out his information or anything on here. So we're gonna call him G-Wagon Zaddy. So we are going um, to this event with him. There are gonna be some like, you know, important people there. So <laughs> um, let me show you guys my outfit. It's just running errand. So I have on this crop top shorts. It's like 80 two degrees outside i believe so i can get away with wearing shorts i got my chanel i have my hermes bracelet hopefully friday i can add my um cartier right here and boom you know what i mean um so yeah let's <laughs> yes girl stacks okay period let's go uh run some errands i need my keys car keys oh i have to give chanel food and then we can go oh see this is better lighting i always have to remember to turn on this to turn off this hallway light so that you guys can get a better view but this is the fit shorts i got these shorts from zara i believe i got this shirt from sheen chanel christian dior and um hermes and uh that's it no necklace no earring yeah let's go To 
Saks we go. So I ended up spending quite a bit of money in Aritzia, which wasn't what I intended on doing, but you know what? It happens. <laughs> um, so let's go to Saks and see what we can find. Hey guys, so I'm back in the house. Um, I have to get dressed because, um, ooh, I hate when my bra shows. Um, I have to get dressed because I am going to an event. It's 4.30 and I'm supposed to be meeting him at five. So I have to quickly put on my outfit um, and fix my makeup up. But I wanted to show you guys the shoes that I ended up getting. Um, I'm not going to show you guys the stuff from Maritia because I don't have time for that right now. So I'm going to wear these today to go to my event. But I wanted to like quickly show you guys the heels. So this is what they look like. They're a Manalo. <laughs> Excuse me if, I, if I'm saying this wrong. But they're Manalo Blahnik. If you watch um, Sex in the City, you know this was like a major brand um, that was, you know, like used or advertised on Sex in the City. So these are called Manalo Blahniks. Um, and these were 1300 bucks. So yeah. All right, guys. So I am dressed and ready. So I have on this bodysuit that I got from Aritzia. These pants that I got from Zara that you guys saw, I think at the beginning of this vlog. Um, and then for shoes, I have on my Manolo Blonics that I just got. So this is what they look like, freaking a fabulous. I mean, the outfit, it's given, okay. Um, for perfume, we're gonna do YSL Libre. Boom. And a splash of Baccarat. I think someone has said don't rub when I put the perfume on my wrist. So I just dab. Um, but yeah, so this is what we look like. I'm obviously going to put some lip gloss on and stuff um, once I get in the car. I don't know if I'm going to need a mask, all of that stuff. But this is pretty much the outfit. Bam. We're giving everything it's supposed to give. Um, I will show you guys on here. See if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see this. But this is the fit. So We're going to take my boy bag my Chanel boy bag because well this is like the only bag that I have that has silver hardware yeah, yeah. so this is the final outfit right here. So, bodysuit from Aritzia, pants from Zara, my boy bag, my Manolo Blahniks, Hermes, Rolex, no earrings just because, you know, I have a bob, you can't see anything. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and head out. Bitch. I'm at a millionaire's house, okay? I'm not telling you guys whose house it is, but girl, you see these babies right there? I wish I could give you guys a tour of the whole house, but I can't. <laughs> I can't, cause this is just half of it. It keeps going. <laughs> Please welcome.
Hi guys, okay, so <laughs> it is like completely later in the day. Today is Friday, September 17th. Um, so actually what I really just did was bring out my um, bag collection out because I've been trying to film this, my bag collection, or I'm gonna name it my 40,000 bag collection because when I did the math, it came to about $40,000. Um, so I want to film that and I've been like talking about it for a little bit and just You know, like I've been thinking like do I want to really film it because you know people are um, What's what's that thing they say like, you know, it's better to keep like a lot of your stuff private And I'm trying to like not put a lot of my business out there But at the same time, I thought it would be a really cool video to do um, so You know, I don't know if anyone gets offended by the video I can't help you you know that's not my issue um, so I brought this thing out because I could film in my bedroom but one it's a little messy right now and two um, I just didn't want to sit on my bed and film if that makes sense so I thought you know I'll just drag this out here set it up here and then I can set up the camera and um, you know use this area to record I was thinking of doing it by my desk as well but then I didn't want to put my bags just like right just by the island if that makes sense like if I was to sit here and do it it would have to be like behind me and I just didn't think that would be cute. So after this, I'm going to Rick Ross is in Boston today. A couple of my friends have been reaching out to me um, to come with them um, to the concert. So I'm going to go. I know a few people that, you know, promoters and stuff like that. So I'm going to go. But first, I have to film this video, um, which works out anyways, because I hate having to get dressed and like not go anywhere. And obviously, I'm going to change. <clears throat> This is just my um, filming, like to film this video, my $40,000 bag collection video. Um, but after I'm gonna change, my battery is dying, so I'm gonna change this battery, um, film this video, and then I will come back and, um, you know, do a few things and probably end this vlog today because there's really nothing else that I have going on. Um, but I'm back home. Um, I have about three hours to get this video up before my dinner later on with my friend. Um, I was doing laundry before I left, so I have to... So I'm gonna go ahead and finish editing this video um, so I can get it up and then um, I'm most likely going to close this vlog today like once I get dressed and I go out and stuff um, and then maybe start a new one tomorrow we'll see 
Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and finish editing. And um, yeah, cause I don't have long and I want the video up before I leave. I don't wanna like, you know. Hey you guys, so I'm just sitting here, Chanel, cut it out. So I'm sitting here um, doing my makeup. Chanel, cut it out. I'm about to do my makeup um, to go to my friend's dinner. I did everything that I wanted to do today. I also made myself a martini. I'm starting off at home. I know it's Monday, but this is my like, I did a good job today. Um, drink so i did everything that i wanted to do today so the video is uploading i scheduled it to go live or go live once youtube finished doing everything that it wants to do um but yeah so now i'm gonna do my makeup and um i'm gonna then go get dressed and then we're gonna go to dinner um but i wanted to show you guys how i like curled this short wig and I think I like it with the curls. I haven't ran my like hands through it yet, but like, you know, I think I kind of like it better with like curls, if that makes sense. Okay, I feel like it's it's given with like you know, it's like a short curly bob. <laughs> Let me go ahead, put some makeup on my face, and um, throw on my outfit, and go ahead and head to dinner because I am already late but what's new, right? All right guys, so I am dressed and ready to go. I will quickly show you guys my outfit and head out the door. Um, and I have to finish my martini. But I have this bodysuit on from Aritzia. Then these pants that I got from Zara. And I just have on my um, shoes, these plain, black um, heels that I got from Sheen. Um, and then I have my um, Chanel boy bag. I don't feel like switching my bags. Um, and I'm wearing like black, no like gold or anything. I do have my Hermes bracelet on, which doesn't really go with the outfit, but whatever. Um, for perfume, I have on my Baccarat. From earlier this afternoon, I had on YSL Libre, but I ended up throwing on some Baccarat. But this is the fit. It's giving cute, classy, but casual. Go ahead and uh, go.